Hi Sag, welcome to your September 12th through 19th love reading. We're going to take a look at you, who's on your mind, your person, if there is a person. If not, I'll show a new person and see what's going on. September 19th, I mean 12th to the 19th for my Sagittarians. Welcome to my channel, Frankie's Tarot. All right, Sagittarius. You are one of my favorite signs. Don't tell anybody. Overall energy here, the lovers in reverse, okay? So I feel like there could be um, a, two things here. It could be a choice has been made, but it also could be that there's a breakup or um, no communication right now, okay? But definitely could mean that there's a choice being made. A choice has been made if there was something, if it was between two people. All right, so here you are, the Four of Cups in reverse, all right? So you're looking for an opportunity. You want an opportunity. What's on your mind? Who's on your mind? Three of Swords. What's on your mind is heartbreak, all right? So somebody made you mad, hurt your feelings, pissed you off, all right? That's what you're thinking, all right? Maybe you're thinking about breaking somebody's heart because you want another there's another opportunity coming in for you that would be a twist that'd be all right what's your feeling six of cups this is what you're feeling though so you're feeling pretty nostalgic about somebody you you are thinking about somebody this is somebody you felt very close to um you may have even known them for a long time it could be a past life you know how that goes um but you're definitely in your feelings about this person and you are they are on your mind and i'm gonna go with there might not be any communication between the two of you. You guys may have decided to break up. That's why you're heartbroken. Um, something could have happened and you want another opportunity. Okay, so we're going to go with that. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the obstacle, and that is making a plan, a practical plan to move forward. That's stress for me. Stress is, um, is a factor and just... All the overthinking, overthinking of a situation, overanalyzing a situation. Could be over a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You know, I have strong Gemini here with the lover's card. But that's an obstacle for you, the stress or overanalyzing, overthinking a situation. All right, your person is the star card, Aquarius, okay? So they're healing. They're healing from this heartbreak. You may have broke their heart, Sag. You know, they might, they could be just wishing for you, thinking about you. You're the star of their world. Um, or they just could be an Aquarius. What's on their mind? The Ten of Pentacles in reverse, all right? A breakup. Could be money too. Could be a lack of money. Um, maybe you guys live together and now they don't have a home. <laughs> and they're hoping you take them back because they need a place to live. You know, something like that, but... Um, there could be some, you know, it's breakup. It feels like a breakup with that Ten of Pentacles. You know, maybe they, they were invested or they want to still invest in this. They really thought you were the one with that Six of Cups here. You guys are very close, okay? But something may have happened with that Queen of Pentacles, the obstacle in reverse. Maybe you felt as though you were putting the work in and your person wasn't, I don't know, or you guys didn't have a plan or you, a, pr a practical plan for this relationship. How do they feel about you? The Six of Pentacles in reverse. So they feel as though you won't either either give in to this or, um, or you didn't give in to this. We'll have to clarify that. So they either feel like you're not giving in or you didn't give in as much as they gave. Okay, but they're wishful. The obstacle here is the Five of Cups, regret. So, the pain, getting over the pain. How do they view you? The Seven of Pentacles in reverse, they see you as not wanting to invest in this. What's the outcome? The Three of Cups in reverse. All right, let me get one more for the Three of Cups, the death, it could be over in the current energy. Could be a Scorpio you're connecting with. Um, but don't go anywhere yet. 
Don't go anywhere yet because we got the two of swords here too. Confusion. All right, somebody not being able to make a decision. Even though it's showing no communication and a choice. Okay, let's see how it plays out. Let's see how this plays out. But they really see you as not wanting to invest. Maybe they hurt you pretty bad and that's why they regret this. Things always take a twist in my reads. And remember, this is just current energy. If you want to check out the whole um, month of September. Actually, your month of September. Now that I think about it, oh my God, that was the read that I did two of. And I ended up deleting that first one on accident because my storage on my phone. And, but it was the same read. It was like within couples. It was a break. It was like a third. Oh my God. I said that one was, you guys really, a lot of you resonated with that. So that's why this could be talking about why it might be over in the current energy. But remember at the end of that read, um, at the end of September, you guys work things through. So this might be picking up on you guys working through, working through it. I will do an extended for this. I didn't do an extended for the monthly. I remember now. Man, some of my sages. What are they, what's going on with you guys? What is happening? All right. All right, the moon in reverse. The moon in reverse for me is always like shit coming up, fears coming up, things come into light, illuminating. And obviously something did come up. It could have been a Pisces and look, the five of cups right there. Very regretful, a loss. There's that Ace of Wands though. This, the, 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 you guys think about one another. You guys are very passionate about one another. But we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, which is talking about, and, and you know, it's not, it's, it's, it's not, it's not, it's done. All right, it's not getting off the ground just yet. All right, or you don't want to invest in this. I'm gonna shuffle this one more time. See if these cards come out. All right, you guys definitely, whoever you're connecting with, you're on their mind. They're on yours. All right, the Son of Pentacles for you. The Four of Cups, all right? So the Son of Pentacles is the Knight of Pentacles. You're, you, here you are, the Four of Cups in reverse. You want an opportunity here, but you want love. You want devotion. You want true love. Is this a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that you were connecting with um, and you want to still work on it? There's, you know, that's how you're showing up. Or it could be you just showing up. Maybe you're working on yourself, wanting to move forward, and maybe thinking about um, an, a new opportunity coming in. Okay, there could be somebody else, but... That could just be you focusing on your money too, okay? The Three of Swords and the Nine of Cups. So heartbroken over this relationship. You are heartbroken over this relationship. The Six of Cups, and we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Isn't that funny? You don't wanna give in and just underneath, I wish you, one of these days you'll see my cards, but this is the Six of Pentacles in reverse, clarifying the Six of Cups, this person's on your mind. I mean, you, you're feeling for this person. You have a lot of feelings, right? But underneath it, they had the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So neither of you, they're thinking, they're feeling like you won't give in and you're feeling like either they won't give in or you won't give in. So it's just mirroring one another, okay? The Queen of Pentacles here, the Seven of Cups. Confusion, but you still have them on your mind, right? Queen of Pentacles, you don't know what to do in reverse. You don't know what to do. You don't know if you should... Um, you should you have choices you you don't know what to do maybe you have another choice to move on with uh taurus Virgo, capricorn maybe you just want to move on and work on your own okay but you have choices to make and that's the obstacle here you don't know what to do with this current energy the aquarius the star card the son of wands in reverse okay so they could have been the one that um played around kind of um and it's also an energy of they're getting restless, um, maybe acting reckless, maybe not knowing what to do, maybe not taking any action just yet because they don't know what to do, okay? But they definitely could have been in this like energy of just being very reckless and doing something that really broke your heart. And we know what that would probably be. The Ten of Pentacles, what's on their mind in reverse, but they have the Six of Wands, okay? So they want they want victory here. They don't, they want to, they want this to move. They want this to move towards, towards success. All right. They, they still want to work on this. All right. The six of pentacles in reverse and we have the chariot in reverse. That's talking about there's no movement. 
All right, there's stagnation because neither of you or you won't give in. I'm feeling more like it's you that won't give in to this just yet because they really broke your heart. Okay, there was, they are the obstacle for them is they are feeling so much regret over this loss, but they have the world card in reverse, so it definitely could be a Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. Unfinished business, they're not going to give up on this. They're not giving up on this. This is, you guys are going through a karmic cycle. This definitely could be a marriage. It could be, um, it could be just, you know, soulmates with a six of cups energy. Um, it's a karmic cycle. You guys are going through it. I feel like you guys are going to get through it. Even though we have um, the three of cups in reverse unhappiness because it might be over. Um, you know, and because they view you as not wanting to invest. The daughter of cups. So you don't want to invest your heart anymore, right? You're you don't want to. You just are closed off. You do not want to invest any more emotions at the current energy. All right, the three of cups in reverse. We have the hanged man in reverse. Like not. This is like um. You know, I look at it as narrow, not narrow minded, but my point of view, and that's it right now. This is how I see things, and I'm not budging. Okay, I'm not budging right now. Um. And that's why there, there's, you guys aren't very happy. The, the death card and the seven of wands in reverse. All right, so I'm gonna get one more because I can read that two different ways. Um, the temperance in reverse, all right. Somebody needs to stand their ground here. The temperance in reverse, Sag. Um, you're just, you're, you don't, you're not, there's something you need to get off your chest and you you need to stand your ground right now because you are very like, it's just the temperance inverse unbalanced, all right? You don't wanna restore this, just that you are thinking about ending this. And, um, but I feel like it's because you need to stand your ground and get something off your chest. And, um, and right now you're hot and cold. You might be going back and forth from, do I end this? Because you are really upset about something here, okay? Um, so the, in this current energy, it does show you as being kind of like needing to stand your ground, needing to create some sort of harmony in your own life. And this will make you feel better because right now um, your temperament is just, you go all over the place, just like that Queen of Pentacles, all right, very stressed. And you don't know if you want to um, end this or move on. I mean, end this and move on or start over again. Okay, that's what I have for you, Sag. Okay, um, I will go into the extended and I'll take a further look. Like I said, this sounds like a continuum of the monthly I did for some of you, and you may get the results with the, um, in that one there. Okay, but I will do an extended this time and see where this goes and see um, how you guys feel about the situation and how it evolves. All right, I love you guys. Take care.